if I were to sum up my presentation in one quote from Fatullah Gulen, it would be this. He said, forgiving consists of a return to our essence, a return to our essence, and finding ourselves again. This quote is very much in line with what therapists, clinicians, educators, and researchers have found about the benefits of forgiveness. There was a, an interview with Naval Savendi. I think it was published in 1997. And she asked Fatullah Gulen this question. You've suffered a lot in your life. How did you overcome events that could have smothered your enthusiasm and smashed you? It would have smashed you. His response, which is very pithy, very brief, but to me, studying the process of forgiveness, his response is the process of forgiveness that took a team in Madison three years to, to come up with. He said, once I was followed for six years as if I were a traitor. It bothered me, but I forgot it. I didn't feel hostility toward anyone. Even then, I approached the matter logically, not emotionally. I've forgiven the people who did this. If one day I see the faith of the people secured and a peaceful atmosphere surrounding the world, then everything will have been worthwhile. To me, the first part when he said, it bothered me as a human being when something unfair, deep, interpersonal happens, it touches our emotions. Okay? It bothers us, it makes us angry. We may become resentful. Okay? For some, you know, it could uh, reach to, a to rage. Uh, so a host of negative emotions will be triggered. So it bothered him. But then he said, I forgot it. I would have dismissed this as you're just using repression. But he said, I do not feel any hostility toward anyone. Golan invokes and implores people to forgive because it is we're instructed to do it religiously and if we really claim that we love prophet muhammad peace be upon him he forgave then we should follow his example and i believe that Allah Golan is a very good example of the example of prophet muhammad because he himself has forgiven uh, those who have wished him ill so um, he offers a recipe of how to forgive, uh, the language of forgiveness, uh, tolerance. He said that uh, in conferences, we need to talk about it. In the media, we need to talk about it. In music, the lyrics should be, uh, you know, reflect tolerance. And uh, wherever we are, it needs to be pervasive. It needs to be everywhere. The movement is so versatile that, that you can find connections all over the place. It's not narrow. It's